Hey, this is John Stauffer from MCAM Northwest, and today I'm going to make a video on how to set up planes in a mill turn environment when you need a little bit more control over your toolpath. This is actually something that came up from one of our customers, but I thought everyone should see this. So let's take a look. So here in Mastercam, I am working on this part. I'm working in a, a dot machine environment that has a, a two spindles and a turret. So we're on the subspindle side and we're going to be machining these flats onto the part. My original contour is set here and then I'm using toolpath transform. Well, why am I doing that? Well, two things. First, this particular machine can't interpolate the uh, spindle itself for C-axis face toolpaths. So C-axis is out. We have to use Y. The second problem that we're running into is on this particular machine, the y-axis travel is going to be limited because we don't have a ton of it, and this is a fairly large feature, so locking this into place may not work very well. Also, if we try and do it all in one operation, lock that c-axis down and then go all the way around it, we could have issues because if we cross the center line with a milling tool in a face orientation on this machine, it could actually cause a collision. There's not a ton of clearance there. So the clean way to do this would be to only program one face, then use a toolpath transform. That way we can try to keep the part as far up in X as possible, giving us the most clearance. The toolpath transform will rotate that C axis and indicate it into position. So that's what we did here. Let's take a look at the simulation. Okay, I've skipped forward in the program to the point that we're working at. So let's see what happens. I've got this in time mode and we're running at full speed. So as we come in, we're going to have a problem with collisions. See, the issue here is that we are trying to cross center line. And in this machine, that means we have some collisions because there's not enough clearance here. But notice something else. Look at the way that the tool is actually approaching this. Instead of putting this flat higher up along X, it's kind of cutting it on the side. This isn't as efficient as it could be. If we put this up at the top, we're going to get more clearance and we're going to have less travel for the machine. So how do we force this in Mastercam? Well, let's go back to the program. The trick here is forcing our plane. If we take a look at the parameters for the original contour toolpath, we'll see that it grabbed the kind of default plane for face milling on the right. Now we want to force this to a new plane. So let's create a new plane going to grab my little dynamic gnome in here. And in this case, I'm going to snap it to the face. Since we're doing face milling, I need my Z axis pointed away from the part. I need to center this on the face so that it lines up with our zero point. And then we need to think about the direction of our X axis. See the X axis is what's going to determine the rotation position. If we're only programmed on this one face, I want my X axis pointed directly at this face. So I'll use my rotation here and bring it up to 90. Now in this case, that works really well because it happens to be 90 degrees off, but you may need to actually snap it to different points on your part, then level out your plane. So this is going to be our new flat plane. Go ahead and green check there. Now in the parameters for the contour, I can select that as my tool plane. Green check here, regenerate for the transform, and let's see how this works in simulation. All right, let's take a look. You can see how it actually indexed that C axis so that it sits at the top toward our X travel. And now we don't have any issues with clearance. We have plenty of it. And the spindle will index in position for each flat. This gives us as much clearance as possible for this kind of part. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you like this video, make sure to follow us on our social platforms, where we post tips and tricks, news, and videos like this. If you want more information on another topic, just let us know. We're happy to make videos about it. Please email us at support at mcamnw.com. Thanks, and have a great day.